Hello everyone. This is Oxford Street in London. It follows the path of the new Crossrail project, a new east-west rail link. Sadly, it has meant that many buildings have had to be destroyed to make way for it. Crossrail is, literally, tearing down the West End. I'm here at Tottenham Court Road Station, and this corner and its shops and buildings was a favorite meeting point for many decades. Until Crossrail came along and destroyed it. It is now a horrid new build, incongruous to the area. Who would believe that only in 2009, it looked like this? This is more like it. A fine set of Victorian buildings that had been there for a century. And to the left of that, the wonderful Astoria Theatre. A pleasant sight, until they became part of the Crossrail wasteland. Crossrail is just an expensive extravagance. Was it worth losing this great architecture just to build it? Yet another new office block, or is it luxury flats? And yet for ages this plot was taken by the great Astoria Theatre, an important functional place, since 1927. This arena, whether it was a cinema, concert hall, or a nightclub, served everyone, not just the privileged few. A fantastic central location, and always well attended. But they smashed it up, just for Crossrail. Ironically, one of the only times the station was full was when the Astoria emptied out. So they demolished the Astoria to enlarge the station. How crazy. Maybe when they want to enlarge the station again, they will demolish the Dominion Theatre. By this logic, pretty soon there will be nowhere to visit. London will just be one massive station. Falkenberg Court. This does not exist anymore, thanks to a certain rail project. It was a lovely little old London alleyway with a decorative entrance arch. Sorely missed, but still there in my mind's eye. Dionysus Fish and Chip Shop. I enjoyed many a bag of chips here. Just the thing after a nice pint, or maybe a concert. Perfectly placed in the heart of London. This is what is really needed here, not another office block. The new station entrance, now part of the gleamingly white Euro-style terminus range that they are forcing upon London. I preferred the more London-esque and delightful old entrance, amalgamated into the architecture as it were. Much more welcoming. Down the escalators, all seems clean and hospital bright. But without the old mosaics and the ghastly backlit adverts of old, where would we be? I miss the ancient smelly old station, it's part of our history. The former Victorian rooftops sported some rather fabulous fantasy architecture, each competing with each other for greatness. Not something you can say about the new place. The old rooftops were fun and imaginative. All gone now. Kill off. All seemed well until the hoardings went up. Then they closed off Charing Cross Road for years, so they could hack away at the station corner buildings. Ultimately, the old station entrance was all that was left. What a miserable sight. All that's left now are these new monstrous overwhelming effigies that dominate the scene. Will I be allowed inside to view yous or peruse? Probably not. Will I be able to gaze into their windows? No. Spare a thought about the two northern corners, the old Lion's Corner House to the west. The Dominion Theatre to the east. Can we protect them from such similar fates? 
nothing seems sacred to those who want to upgrade and wipe out the past. So this is the future. It's all we have left. But look at it. Is this all we have to look forward to?